Oh, is someone going to tweet about this when we go? Sorry. Yep. Hi, <laughs> right, Kaylee. It's only your second time here. You already yeah. have a microphone. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. Uh, well, it's Ruder Hobo. It's the one shot edition. We have found a collection of individuals for you. And I think I'm getting a reverb on my mic. Uh, but we've got a collection of individuals here that are going to make you laugh, especially Kaylee. Am I saying that right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Because uh, for some reason, I, uh, anyway, uh, Kaylee and Andrew played a couple weeks ago. Uh, they were Axe buddies. That is not going to be the case tonight. Uh, but we've got a, kind of an interesting one shot for you. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I don't screw this one up, but we'll see. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy cool crap like this shirt or this phone case or a duvet cover or a throw pillow or even possibly a skateboard and stickers. Uh, go to our shop, which also has Murder Hobo Con gear in it. Uh, that's coming up as well. Uh, let's give a shout. Or first, if you want to be in one shot like these guys are tonight, or if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesday, Hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. We will try and get you on here so you can have a little bit of fun, get a little bit of FaceTime. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, or Dice That Don't Suck When They Roll. Uh, hopefully tonight they really don't suck because I'm rolling Big Red 2. <laughs> Big Red 2. Nice. I'm going for blood tonight. Uh, so if you want some custom dice, at Pirate Dog Dice, and don't forget if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like joyous victory. Uh, try a little adventure sense from Oddfish Games. For the variety of scents, they have a, a something for everybody, including Kyle, who's uh, nearly vomited on screen when he had putrid sewers, which was hilarious. I think it's still on YouTube. Uh, watching somebody die because of inhaling was hilarious. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to write adventures like me, only gooder, try their system. Uh, it's not specifically designed for RPG. That is coming out later, but it is easily transposed for your needs. Also, we'd like to thank uh, the sponsor for Murder Hobo Con, Matta. Productions. Uh, if you're looking for a battle map or some cool shirts or some other accessories, hit up Mattis Productions. Uh, you can go through the Twitter account. Uh, we've got several links on there for him. And of course, uh, I'm going to belabor the point for the next, as Andrew pointed out, two, not three weeks, Frank. I've lost control of my calendar. MurderHoboCon.com on August the 1st. All day event, charity driven. So once we pay the bills, which are nominal, everything else goes to the American Cancer Society. It is a full day of gaming. Unlike uh, something like Gen Con, where you have to pay for each game, uh, we scrap that idea. You pay five bucks for a badge, you get in free, you do all sorts of shit. It's a virtual world. It is not uh, just another Zoom meeting. Uh, it is a virtual world. We've got a couple of bands, got a comedian, got a fortune telling booth, uh, got a movie theater. I, we, we got a lot of cool shit. We got a rave. Uh, you know, we got stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's almost like being there. Uh, and for five bucks, uh, probably one of the hottest days of the year. What, a, what the hell else are you going to do? Five bucks, murderhobocon.com. Okay, Whoop. let's get on with the game. Uh, our four players tonight are before you. Let's go ahead and do introductions. Andrew, you're up first. Who are you? Who are you playing? What's up? I'm Andrew. Find me uh, at Y'all I Tag, Y A W E T A G, on Twitter. Uh, tonight I'll be playing a level seven Tabaxi Rogue who shoots out psychic blades. Nice. Kaylee, same question, different answers. Oh, uh, not the same ones. I've got enough of there. Nope. Okay. No, I threw you the curveball. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Kaylee, and tonight I'm playing uh, Burnett, the dwarf fighter, an ex cop with glorious mutton chops. And uh, I'm representing Raven and Riddle. So it's at Raven and Riddle on Twitter. And we have some beautiful dice available in our shop, especially if you're a kind hearted person looking to adopt some dice that don't look quite right, but still play beautifully. Do they roll high? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, that's, yeah, who cares? 
They just need a loving home where they feel <laughs> accepted to be rolling out 20s for anyone but you. Nice. <laughs> oh, for yeah. everyone else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she's singling me out again. That's two. That's two. You got another uh, hour and, uh, I don't know, 53 minutes to live. And I don't think it's going to take that long. Ian, you're up next. Okay. Tell us about your character. Tell us about you. Hi, Nick. So uh, I'll be playing uh, Paul Zag, a uh, dragonborn fifth-level barbarian and third-level fighter. Uh, so it should make for pretty interesting. Uh, and unlike, uh, I guess, all the – well, I'm not too sure about Shadow, but unlike everyone else – uh, I am also not wearing armor, so I am uh, luxuriating in my fantastic black scales and only wearing a cloak and shield. A lot of naked. Got a lot of naked tonight. Uh, well, when, you've got a, when you've got scales like this, why would you need anything else? Yeah, that's true. It's dazzling, and it could be used as a distraction. It won't, <laughs> but it could be. Uh, David, last but not least, you're up. Hey, I'm David. You might know me from, uh, let's say, uh, the Calamity Campaign, A and B, and also Cacophony, our every other week soap opera. <laughs> so anyway, I'm also on Between the Royal Rolls. <laughs> if you want to follow me, you can follow me on D and Devious on the Twitterverse. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Edward Meeks. Edward Meeks. Uh, yeah, he's kind of got like, um, let's just say a dark companion riding in the, the back uh, of his brain, another consciousness like. So we'll see what he can do tonight. <laughs> Listen to the voices, man. Uh, folks, uh, I call this one precipitation problems. It's built for 13th level PCs. I told these guys seven so I could kill them easier. Uh, it's high time I did a PCK. <laughs> so, uh, actually, no, this is for seventh level individuals. These guys are headed to the town of Traverse City, not Michigan for you northerner folks. Uh, but Traverse City, it is up on top of a hill. Unfortunately, they have been slogging through some serious uh, water. Uh, the rain has not let up since. Uh, they don't remember when and as they close in on the gates of Traverse City, they notice uh, displaced things such as tree roots, sod, dirt and cobblestones. This place is under a whole lot of water. Uh, as you four reach the gates, the water is pouring down. I mean, you can only see five, ten feet ahead of you. A couple of shadowy figures block your way and they look like your standard city guardsmen. Oh there, hi there, hey there. Who goes there and why? Uh, we're, we're just trying to seek uh, shelter out of the storm. We're, we're trying to find something in the city. The guard points at you and all the water from his sleeve smacks Andrew right in the face. <laughs> he goes, are ye adventurers? Ugh, I'm wet now. Very good. And he flips his hand up, throwing water at four. Edward. <laughs> uh, Arst thou looking for a job? Uh, we're low on coin, so yeah, yeah. Uh, job, job would be nice. Uh, let's send you over to the Burgermeister, Meister Burger. Uh, he is looking for hardy adventuring stock, and from the looks of you... Well, maybe not Edward, but... <laughs> he'll probably keep looking, but maybe the Burgermeister will want to talk to you. Uh, he calls for another guard, a younger guard, sopping wet. This guy's clearly been in trouble and had to do the rounds. Uh, he is soaked to the gills, uh, wears ill-fitting clothing and armor, and is told to take you to the Burgermeister. Uh, you guys slog across the open cobblestones, which are starting to become uh, a jar from the voluminous amount of precipitation pouring down. Uh, the city's cistern well uh, is overflowing uh, and people have buckets everywhere because not everybody has a good roofa. Uh, as you walk across the cobblestone, you can hear the young man muttering and keeping a close eye on to uh, the dwarf 
Uh, you, uh, you one of them there, uh, gnomes? Boy, you look like a gnome man. Never seen a gnome before, so I'm not sure. They're much smaller. Uh, <laughs> this guy's normal height. Uh, he goes, smaller than you? Look, man, as an ex-city guard myself, I'll cut you some slack. But why don't you shut up? Well, you talk like a city guard. Okay, we're here. Uh, you come to a two-story building, uh, your typical Austrian building, uh, wooden X's, the white plaster, uh, mm -hmm. and there is just a steady stream of water coming out of a stone gargoyle at the top of the roof peak, and it is just a torrent pouring right in the middle of you, splattering everybody uh, because it's hitting cobblestones. Uh, the guard knocks twice uh, and a gruff voice answers. He opens the door and motions you inside. All right, I'll, okay. I'll go in. Yeah, yeah, Edward rushes in. He hates the rain and uh, yeah, he throws up his backpack and kind of hikes it and try and trudges his way in. You know, fail not to notice like a battle axe that's like way too big for him sticking out the the handle sticking out the backpack. D twelve against me. Seven. Uh nine. Uh fortunately the battle axe uh sneaks its way in through the doorway and you don't get flung back into shadow or brunette. <laughs> so uh with all four of you inside, there's a man uh sitting on a couch staring lifelessly into a fire, holding what appears to be a tankard of some kind of beverage, a carafe of something, possibly wine, is next to him. He turns around and he looks at you and addresses directly number three, uh, Kalzak. Kalzag? Kalzag? How are we doing this? Uh, I mean, crawls, or uh, I guess crawls. crawls egg. Okay. As long as it's not a four-letter word, I'm fine. Hey, buddy, you got enough to share? Rich, uh, persuade me. <laughs> nice. Uh, what do you want that to be? Uh, <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> what do you want me to <laughs> fail at? As long as it's not a one, what was it? A six. Yeah, no. Uh, no, thank you for offering. Uh, what do you guys want? What uh, do you want? Yeah. We came, they said you needed help. Uh, oh, oh. So you are uh, so. adventurers. We have been known to do that before. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, uh, I know that uh, Edward and I are just completely just drenched in weapons along with with uh, rain, so he does not seem concerned at all. <laughs> well, Edward only has the one big weapon handle sticking uh, out the back. Otherwise, <laughs> no, everybody I mean, roll a, a D. Yeah, everybody roll a D twelve. Low one is in trouble. Yeah, Edward's a pretty small guy. <laughs> uh, twelve, six. Uh, Shadow, uh, you are dripping into the mouth of the bear. It's bearskin rug, oh, no. and you're you're filling the bear's lower jaw with water. Uh, about this time, a feline, a cat, comes up to you because, of course, you are playing the taxi tonight. Correct? Yes. Uh, looks at you and shows great disdain. Uh, D twelve against me. Seven. You win. It sprays you. <laughs> And then proceeds to move on. Apparently, that's its bear, and you have offended it. Uh, the Burgermeister introduces himself as Harold. I am Harold, Burgermeister of Traverse City. Uh, if you are adventurers, I am in need of your services for the right price. I mean, um, for the right place. I mean, I think that we have the cards here in this bargaining situation. No one else has been able to do it, so I think it's for a fair price for us. I feel like I can say that for on behalf of all of us. 
Sure. Uh, well, you speak too soon because I've already sent some adventurers uh, to deal with this problem, but they just have not uh, reported back. And so, we'll uh, fix their, we'll fix up what they mess up, and we'll do it right. So, hmm. you owe but, this man a pair of boots. Uh, I'll get right. I'll get right. Don't point to him. Persuade me <laughs> again. <laughs> vaguely point in the direction of a lot of people with boots, but specifically, I was referring to Shadow. I don't need mm. boots. I have paws. Oh, I thought you said your boots got sprayed. So I, I thought I, 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 I said boots, boots got sprayed, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, his leg got sprayed then. At least it didn't get humped. Uh, go ahead and uh, be the first time. Give, give me a persuasion. Well, I, I don't know if I'd say the whole thing about boots since uh, I can't really replace Pete's. Uh, that would be a, a glorious 10. I'll see what I can do. Uh, so how are you guys uh, with magic? Like, especially wizards. I'm great at killing wizards. Hmm. Look, that magic shite. <laughs> if he's got a brain, I can injure him. <laughs> I'd learn to uh, break the tie. I can at least understand it. So, so one kill, one hate, two, eh, we'll deal with it. Uh, the Burgermeister Harold uh, kind of swishes his drink around in his mouth, drains the tankard, and just kind of lazily throws it into the fire uh, where it immediately ignites because it's got flammable liquid on it. He says, okay, so here's the problem that I have. This guy known as uh, Humidus, the wizard, a local fella, uh, ran into some problems with some of our merchants here, uh, feels that he got cheated. Uh, He's full of shite, as uh, your dwarven friend there uh, says. Uh, (laughs) But he has... uh, Placed upon us a curse of rain. Everybody give me a perception check. T1. Uh, 13. Uh, 21. 11. Uh, Shadow and Brunette, uh, you, uh, since you're kind of off to one side here, Uh, as uh, there is a leak in the Burgermeister's roof, and it is dropping right in between you. Uh, clearly, the Burgermeister has bigger problems than he is aware, uh, as his uh, roofer is doing shoddy work. Uh, he continues to uh, go on uh, on a small tangent about wizards, and you know they just have this thing, and da da da. We need you to, if you can, deal with them. But if you can't, deal with them, uh, if I make myself clear. I think we can deal with him. Now, if you find just... out the other adventurers have joined his side, just deal with them as well. We can deal with them. Sounds I feel like if you hit something with a hammer hard enough, it usually <laughs> stops being a problem. Well, he's kind of a powerful guy, so you might want to kind of maybe talk first. Because uh, he's, he's, he, he's, he's got a mood. Uh, I understand that he can stop time. Sounds like a real arsehole. So he lives, uh, if you go down the hill, uh, the, the back way, not, not the way you came up. But the back way, uh, it's kind of steep, but uh, he lives in a cave down at the uh, bottom uh, right next to the river uh, in a van. I was going to say that. <laughs> He's in the cart down by the river. Yeah. Uh, he, he lives uh, in a cave down by the river. So, you know, uh, and it's the Aquas River because, uh, you know, why not stick with yeah, something? Uh, but if you got to go deal with them, uh, it's not going to be the easiest way down unless you slip. Then you'll, you'll probably meet them real fast. Uh, I'm willing to offer uh, 
Five hundred gold each. That's not a lot of money for me. I think it's going to have to be seven fifty. I mean, thinking about a wizard that can stop time, that that's getting up into the areas that we're dealing with lichdom and other things. Uh, I mean, that's extra hazard pay right there. Well, you know, I don't really know that he can. I've just heard that he can. I mean, if he's also drilling a hole in your ceiling with rain. Gadzooks. I can't believe this. Uh, you want a D12 or you want to try and persuade me? Oh, uh, I'll take the D12. <laughs> Nine. Ah, fuck. <laughs> you should have tried to persuade him. Well, I don't, I, my persuasion is at zero. So my, oh, fuck. I rolled a, sorry. Sorry, children. I rolled a 20. <laughs> Like, now, see, David, see, you know how many times I roll ones on this on this game. I roll a twenty on the one time and choose not to roll it. So I don't uh, roll you, it. You, you you've got a clip. You get two notices that this is for mature audiences only. So if you can't handle that. Please move on. Find a find a podcast that you like better. I, we, we won't be offended. I, I think no. I was having a mic problem. I was clearly trying to say fruit. Mm, not me. That's not what I said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? He'll give you six hundred each. Well, hold on. What was your D12 roll? What? My, D, my D12 was an 8. Yeah, he'll give you 600. He'll come up a little bit. Okay. Well, what, what, the, what do the rest of you think? All right. I don't think 500 was good. 600 even better. Magic is shite. I think we deserve at least 650. I mean, you heard you heard the expert. I mean, this is X city military that we're dealing with. If anyone else can vouch for the danger here, you know, I mean, look at that luxurious beard that shows you the, the like someone that survives that long yeah. knows their Ed, salt. Edward hears a deep booming voice in his in the back of his head. <laughs> Who wants to uh, d twelve or persuade me? I'll take one more person. Okay. Uh, Edward will try to persuade him. Given a, he expounds a little bit about arcane knowledge and stuff like that, that uh, this could potentially be very dangerous. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I, I was rolling persuasion. So, okay. Uh, 15 for persuasion. <sighs> Seven fifty. That's what you want. That's what we want. Seven fifty a piece. Final yeah. offer. Yeah. <laughs> the boy that says, is, is "Take the that. deal." <laughs> you guys yeah. have been hired on for seven fifty a piece. You have to go find Humidus, the wizard, who is somehow creating this huge precipitation that the United States Northwest desperately needs. Uh, you have to go down the hill, apparently, and uh, find a cave in uh, next to a raging river, a torrent, if you will. Uh, do you need to, or do you want to wander the town first, or just get down to business? It would be mid-morning about right now. Or do you have any other questions uh, for the Burgermeister? How many people went before? Uh, it was a party of eight. And now you send a party of four. They Two. were, shall we say, inexperienced and don't have such lovely mutton chops as your companion there does. Did yeah. you prepay that group or was their wage upon completion? It's wage upon completion. Just like you guys. <laughs> I got one question. Why are your city guards such idiots if they can't tell me from a gnome? You don't have you know, to pass we, 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 don't, we, we don't get many uh, of you short people here. Oh, sure. Love us all together then, why don't you? What's the difference between a gnome and a dwarf? Have you Ooh, ever choo choose, your, choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> Have you ever seen a lady gnome with such gorgeous face, girls? You're a lady? 
<laughs> I, I told you to choose your words. Very, very carefully. I did. Okay. You know, I can make that hole in your roof bigger. And she just like, re- she's just one hand is just going down to her warhammer. Just. I, I, I'm just, I'm just going to just stomp down and crush the bear skull that's on the bear, like the bear skin rug. And just not say anything. <laughs> The bear skulls mended. I do it again. Mends again. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would say since we are uh, one quarter through our our quest allotment, that we should probably beeline towards the cave. Yeah, that that would be wise. I have no oh. need to visit cities. What Your was that? Is in the mood to hit something. Uh, he will give you directions to the back of town, uh, give you a parchment allowing free passage among the city in and out. Uh, the only reason you were allowed in was because you were the adventuring ilk and you are in need. On your return, you will have to show the hall pass to the guards, uh, unless, of course, you have a wizard in tow, and then maybe they'll let you in anyway. Uh, you keep him alive? All right. Remember, he said deal with or deal with. We he doesn't deal with him. He does not care either way. And that, that much should be obvious to all of you without an insight role. He does not really care. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he, he is a burgermeister. He is political. So, you know, whatever uh, does the best for all concerned. He's not going to flat out tell you, go kill this guy because he's a politician. And they have zero spines. <laughs> I thought he so, was just a cook, made burgers. See, I was I was also disturbed by the lack of, of uh, grilled meats. I don't even need them grilled. I just did you, meat. did you guys want tapas or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said he was a burger master. Uh, Worst uh, restaurant. Up, up. Uh. <laughs> Uh, the puns are going to cost you minus one on all your tech. That's <laughs> worth it. Uh, I will pay uh, the burger tax. The, the back of the city of Traverse City uh, is much steeper than the way you came in. At least you came in in angles. Uh, it is a straight drop. Uh, and because of the deluge that's been going on around this region, you notice that several small shrubs, uh, the cobblestones have been disheveled. Uh, it's going to be kind of slick getting down there. Uh, but there is a discernible trail between most of the trees. There's a few zigzags, but if you slip, you might hit a tree. Uh, down below, way down below, uh, is the rushing Aquas River, and it is swollen from all the rain runoff. Uh, so you got that going for you. You really don't want to slip into that, but it's uh, you're in Tennessee essentially, and that <laughs> that creek is way down there. It's swollen, so, yeah, yeah, and so, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, so so you know, rocky uh, rocky top. Uh, you guys aren't going to, if you slip, you aren't going to go into the water unless you slip a whole lot. So you got a ways to go down there. Uh, it's mostly conifer trees here, pine trees, things of that nature. Uh, and it is, it is kind of a jagged uh, path, it, but it's not stepped. So it's straight down. So as you walk out the gates, the door slams shut behind you. And uh, one of the guards looks at fellow guards, uh, former guards uh, brunette, and goes Good luck. Go to the surface, they said. It'll be fun, they said. There he goes. You look out, uh, you're kind of on a plateau, uh, and then the incline starts. Who wants to step down on the incline first? Shadow will try. Uh, give me a DC... Do you before you do that? Uh, do you want um, me to like give you a rope so you can like be careful? Tame yourself. 
<laughs> well, I, I, I just feel like I, my clawed feet will probably give me some type of traction in the mud. We can try, but I don't want you falling with me. Uh, and it's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm just trying to be a team player here. <laughs> uh, Shadow, give me the first uh, check. Give me uh, acrobatics. Uh, DC, please. That is a 25. Uh, Shadow is very meticulous in his steps. Uh, and he starts his way down. How long is the rope? 50, probably. Calls. Ian. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking. I was checking my how many breaths weapons I get. Uh, is it acrobatics? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, how long is the rope? Oh, 50 feet. Uh, I could I shank, keep shank two together. Shadow, you make it down 50 feet. Uh, there's still a long way to go. Uh, but you, you're, you're feeling the ground. You, you think you've uh, traveled correctly. Hey, peace cake. <laughs> I don't need nice. the rope. All right. Uh, I'll follow and I'll just coil the rope as I go. And here comes Bowling or <laughs> Columbine. Uh, nice. Give me your acrobatics check. Oh, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a 10, but uh, that's a skill that I have a lot of, so it's just uh, sad. Uh, you take one step down, confident that you watch Shadow move gracefully. You, not so much. <laughs> that's why we should have used a rope. Uh, ooh, crap. Uh, you go through several, <laughs> over several rocks, like tree branches and bushes, and you sustain 1d12 plus 2. 14 inches of damage as you hit every rock <laughs> down to the 50 foot plateau. Uh, Brunette and Edward. Huh. <laughs> it's a oh, little slippery. <laughs> Watch your step. Uh, Sh Shadow puts his foot out and stops you from rolling further down uh, and points out that oh, you got here a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> you missed that first step. That old Dragonborn <clears throat> you know, trait. <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh, Brunette or Edward, who's next? Uh, I'll pick up the rear. Okay, I wasn't going to be misogynist to this woman and say <laughs> this dwarf and say ladies first. No, Edward's smarter than that. So, okay, he's going to go. So, acrobatics, sure. you say? Yep. Okay, uh, that is uh, 15. You've learned wisely from uh, Carl's efforts, uh, and you at least were paying attention when Shadow went down. You gingerly and uh, with some slight slips uh, make it down to the 50-foot plateau. Was Brunette paying attention? Let's see. <laughs> Natural 20. Plus oh, one. yeah. Uh, Brunette, with great disdain, does not decide to walk down. She uh, finds a small branch that has fallen, puts it underneath her feet, and snowboards her way down to the 50-foot mark uh, nice. and points out to Crawls. Yeah, good stuff right there. <laughs> there. Uh, you guys look around. Uh, there is no thunder, okay? And that's, that's fairly important, but the rain is pretty loud, uh, and it's still coming down in buckets. I'm going to need perception checks from everybody. 17. I'm going to use a psionic dice because I doubt a 10 worked. Does a 12 work? We'll see. Well, uh, it doesn't, I get my die back. Uh, 12. Uh, brunette and crawls. Uh, your branches snapping. Coming from. Do you guys uh, hear branches breaking? I don't I know if that's hail, but. Coming from the right. 
It's coming in that direction that he's pointing. Uh, as you as you guys turn to look, uh, everybody roll a d12. Nine. Uh, Five again. Oh, three. Edward? So, Brunette crawls, and Edward, uh, you see what appears to be a, a mop of uh, black, patchy hair. Uh, Shadow, you see, for lack of a better term, it looks like a bag is moving through the trees. Uh, a few more steps, and uh, there are two heads that appear, Udo body. Uh, let's see if it sees you. It does not. Uh, everybody give me an Arcana check. <laughs> if a 13 doesn't work, tell me if a 17 does. <laughs> 22 for Edward. Brunette? I think you're muted. One more time. Uh-oh. Did she lose Twelve. Oh, 12. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, Shadow, your first roll is okay. Uh, Brunette, uh, Edward, what was yours? 20-something? 20 22. Uh, you three recognize this creature as an Etten, just like the one behind it. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's exactly uh, what Edward says. Oh, shit. And that the second one sees you and points out, hey, Bob, there. Uh, these creatures are about 30 feet away. The one in the lead has a bag, uh, a misshapen bag slung over its shoulders. Uh, 30 feet away, everybody roll initiative. Go Big Red. Uh, oh, big at red 20. Point. 53. 13 for Edward. Burnett? Three. Is, you know the, is the bag oh. moving? Like The bag is not moving. Uh, we'll start with the 23. Shadow, you're up. You got 30 feet, uh, so these guys will be closing. We only have 20. melee weapons. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Uh, yes, Nat 20s go first. Oh, sorry. not not normally that I argue. It's my probably the one and only that's twenty that's actually going to be used during this game. You should always, uh, from your dice rolls, you should always point out <laughs> your Nat 20. Uh, so, uh, since I rolled a Nat one on initiative or on um, my Arcana, I'm probably going to assume that they're hill giants. I mean, it's tall, lanky. It's got a bag. I mean, it's a hill giant, clearly. Uh, so I'm going to use, um, I'm going to chug my potion of um, hill giant strength, Ooh, uh, nice. since that seems the most logical thing to do here. Uh, and I'll rage, and I will, since I am probably at least more than 10 feet away, I'm going to charge as my feet, and I will um, have at the Acrobatics check. <laughs> Oh, I hate you so much. I use up to 20. Yeah, you're, on a, you're on a plateau. You're fine. Right, if, I roll, if I roll a nat one, I'm going to eat my sock. All right, it's a five, so I didn't eat my sock. Uh, so that's a total of 10. Uh, 10. Wait, uh, hold on, since I'm, 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 I'm raging. Boy, that's probably, is it athletics, dex, or oh, it's probably dex, right? It's athletics. Is I don't think strength. raging gives me advantage, right? Correct. Uh, uh, wait, raging gives you strength? advantage. I thought advantage on strength. Oh, that uh, saves. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not a save. Uh, so, how? What's your movement speed? For uh, forty before raging. Uh, I'll give you one attack while raging uh, because you kind of slipped because you get two attacks, right? That's true. Uh, so I, I, I'll give you one attack on him. All right. So if one attack hits, then that means my charge is successful. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming. Well, hold, uh, I, well, when you say charge, I'll what? say bowling ball charge. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What? I'm sorry, I missed that. What? Uh, that's your bowling ball charge as you stumble your way down. 
Yeah, so I just rolled but, no, one. no penalty. No penalty. No, I, I rolled in that one, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so I was charging and I rolled in that one. Uh, uh. Uh, you know what? I'll go odd. Uh, you. Viewers, it's like Sonic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only not kind of not quite as cool. Uh, I'll give you odd. Uh, you're missing your weapon now, or even you found your weapon. It's in your foot. <laughs> <laughs> the dice give it. The dice take it away. <laughs> so I, I will let you even roll. Oh, so, for me, Roy, you yeah. want to wow. yourself. Great. I, I am uh, a giver. I am tired. It's your dice that suck. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm going to roll a different die. It's just, it's just odd even. Oh, I got odd. Uh, you really miss that great axe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's worse because I was going to use my flail, which is my plus two. Oh, it'll be stuck in a tree. So you'll be able right. to recover it, but <laughs> not this round. You really, you really intimidated him, though. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, you know, again, your roles are going to make me laugh for probably all week long. You know, uh, there, there is a, there was a great temptation to lie about my nat one, but uh, I didn't. Well, it's not going to cost you anything except now you got to go to your secondary weapon, and you'll get to use it twice. So that's good news, uh, unless they kill you right here with two nat twenties. No, I'm still holding <laughs> the mouth with my hill giant, so and raging. Oh, that's true. So you got you got big strengths. Uh, Shadow twenty three. Uh, after watching crawls, Sonic the Hedgehog is way down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would you like to move or do you have ranged weapons? Oh, I'm definitely ranged. Uh, Shadow's eyes slit, close a little bit. And he just stares at the first uh, giant like creature and attacks with his psychic blade. Okay. That's going to be a nine to hit. Uh, apparently, they're Cyclops. You are cutting down trees. <laughs> And my bonus is another Psychic Blade. That's much better, a 23 to hit. That will hit. That's only going to be a D4, though. But, hey, that's uh, eight points. Eight points on the, on the one on the left. Uh, Edward, you're up. Edward is just as, I mean, he's scared shitless. He's just like, oh, my God, what the fuck are they doing? That is an to go back up. <laughs> so Edward's just like uh, uh, takes cover. <laughs> uh, the, the the voice at the back of his head is just like you candy ass. You are letting him take all the glory. <laughs> are are you a thunder now? Uh, Edward, remind me what was your character class? Barbarian. What? <laughs> Barbarian. <laughs> okay, that's right. I just for some reason I had warlock in my head. So yeah, uh -uh. I forgot. All right. No, no, he's got a dark gift. So okay. it's a symbiote. So. so Carl, the good news is I'm gonna go ahead and roll to see what the Ettons do. The first one that just got injured. Going after three. That's you. <laughs> they get two attacks. The second one. Ops to go after two. Uh, they want the dwarf. They want the dwarf. Uh, so, Brunette, you see one of the Etten lumbering their best up the hill, pushing the pine trees out of the way. It will take them the entire round to get up there, and they will be in melee combat next round because you have yet to go. Uh, on uh, crawls, soon to be dead. Uh, 18 and 7. Uh, does a 14 hit you? A uh, 14 does not hit me. What type of damage are they doing? Uh, the, this one is going to be slashing, so I think you get half damage, right? That's correct. Okay. So, you are in no jeopardy of dying yet, despite your best effort. Yes. Ooh. Uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, half is 7. Uh, the Morningstar miss. Well, that's crazy because you were giving me 14 earlier. You're really trying to kill me. The oh, dice give it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as Mike checked earlier, I think my mic was giving reverb. Is it better now? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Yeah, All right, cool. Like I've nice. got a headset if I need to switch. Thanks. I, I have a shitty mic, so it really doesn't matter. We're here to have fun. This is not a professional organization by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Brunette, you are up. Uh, you have an Etten heaving its way towards you. Uh, the other one is engaged with Crawlzag, the unarmed. <laughs> what would you like to do? Well, first, I'm going to use my bonus action to invoke giant's might, which I... means all of a sudden this little dwarf grows to a large size. In a chuck for you old enough to remember super friends. <laughs> And she's going to try and close with the Etten approaching her. And, you, can, uh, you can do an Incredible Hulk leap on top of it if you want. Because you have the high ground. It worked real well for crawls. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't trust my deck score for that. I, she's just going to stomp up to it. Come here, you two-headed piece of shite. Uh, give me your acrobatics. <laughs> Uh, 15. Oh, uh, yes. You uh, hop, skip, and a jump down. Uh, and I will give you one attack uh, since you closed. Okay. So, this will be the even one. It has not been damaged. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, uh, does a 14 hit? A 14 does hit. All righty. I'm going to do eight here. Uh, that's seven plus eight, which is 15 damage. Nicely done. Round two. Crawls, the unarmed. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to continue frothing at the mouth. Um, hopefully. <laughs> With the uh, I guess I will retrieve my weapon at the end of the combat, so I will do this with my secondary weapon. Uh, you know what? Since it's raining and stuff, I'll switch to my Morning Star. Uh, that will be my weapon here, and I will. Uh, how far am I from the nearest Etten? It's on top of you. It's in melee range. Well, I mean, for an Etten, is that five or ten feet? Uh, five. Okay. Because uh, I was attacking you with both weapons. Okay. Uh, so I will um, go ahead and just continue frothing in the mouth and raging. I will try to... How tall are these Etten's? Are they like 10, 12, 11, 14? About 11 feet. All right. Short, short for their species. Uh, then that means the apex of a swing of mine is probably groin ratio. So I will go into attack Mooring Star to groin. Oh, hold on a second. A Everybody's been paying attention to his dice rolls thus far, right? Right. So he's <laughs> okay, Master, go ahead and hit the apex. <laughs> go for that, man. Uh, all right. So, um, <clears throat> Uh, the, uh, the up the ante, uh, the first hit on the genitalia, I'm going to use one of my um, uh, fighter actions to do Distractify. Sure. Uh, that, that, so that is nine. This is regular. Nine. Uh, Oh, and I'm, sorry, so many maps. Oh, that'd be 19 to the groin. Does that hit? <laughs> oh, yeah, that hits. So it's distractifying. It means that everyone else besides me until my next action will get advantage on their attacks against this specific giant. Uh, second attack. Oh, sorry, I didn't even roll for damage. Well, let's see if the second one hits. Second one would be 23, 20, uh, 27. 27. 12 is your magic number to hit the atom. So, yes. What was that magic number? 12. Well, oh. Easy uh, to hit, hard to bring down. All right, I will test that. Uh, five plus uh, 12 damage for the first one. Wait, sorry, 14 for the first one. Got it. And 12 for the second. Good enough. Uh, Shadow, uh, I assume your psychic attacks get advantage on this, correct? Yep, they're just like any other 
All right. So yes, yeah, so you were, you attacked the same one on crawls. So we'll do that. Seeing going... seeing it double over a bit after being poked in the groin. And it tends to happen. Uh, thirteen plus seven is going to be a twenty. So you said that hits. Yep. That's a D six, and I forgot my sneak attack on the last one, but I'll make sure to remember it this time. That's eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen points of damage. Got it. And my bonus one is uh, six plus seven, thirteen hits. That's just the D four. Yeah, rolled a four against. So that's eight points. I also forgot the extra plus four on the last one. So that would say twelve points on that one. Got it. Uh, good enough. Edward, are you going to come out and play AA with the Warriors? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Edward's like, shit. <laughs> and then uh, Rage at the back of his head is just like, if you're not going to get in there and do it, I am. And then he feels this thing and just instantaneously just beasts out. Eyes are black. Huge claws. He shoots up to seven feet tall. Tail. Yeah. Instinctive. Uh, what they call Which it? Totem are you? Fuck, uh, I didn't get one of these beast. anime sequences. I just throw off at the mouth. <laughs> beast. Well, you're frothing. And he's a cyclops and he's apparently beast. Yeah. So he beats <laughs> out. So, yeah. Bonus action. Rage. Uh, he, gets, he also, while he's raging, he gets instinctive pounce. So he like jumps 15 feet to close the distance and rushes in. So, so roll a d20 as you pounce towards Brunette and the Etten. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, hold on. Do you want low or high to be the good one? Uh, let's just say. Um... Um, hi to be the good one okay so here's how you're gonna do it okay. you're gonna pounce at it okay yeah if you 19 or 20 i'm gonna give you 1d6 bludgeoning damage against the atom okay one or two i'm gonna give you 1d6 bludgeoning against brunette and make her roll an acrobatics okay all right anything else you land right next to her Attack normal. Okay. So what do I have to, to roll? Straight up, straight up D20. Straight up D20. Okay. All right. Nine. You land next to Brunette. You may now attack. Okay. All right. He rushes in. He's going to make uh, two initial claw attacks. Does Brunette know that you can do this, or is she going to believe she's right? Well, she sees something that kind of looks like Edward's, at least wearing Edward's torn, you know, Close. <laughs> so. Burnett, a werewolf is eating Edward. <laughs> I'm dead. Right, Edward. What's it? What's he <laughs> eating? Ed <laughs> all right. So, all right. With his bestial claws, let's see. The first one will be. Uh, okay. Does a twelve hit? Twelve is exactly what you need to hit. Okay. All right. So that <clears> one <throat> hits. Uh, let's see. That one uh, hits for uh, just uh, six points of damage. His second claw attack. Uh, 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, that is 10 slashing damage. Okay, so for those at home and us sitting here, what the hell is up with you? Uh, he's, path, he's path of the beast he's a barbarian path of the beast so they they when they rage I, what i mean for a second rage, I we, he, he transforms uh, i totally so. thought for a second we were fucking playing like altered beast like altered <laughs> pretty much <laughs> that's what he is that's pretty much what edward is <clears throat> fair enough uh yeah. shadow is shadow is still on the plateau so crawl it's going to be you uh Odd brunette, even Edward for the first attack. That's a seven odd and a 15. Uh, so, brunette, you're going to take a double dose as well. So, is she within five feet of me? No, she's 15 feet away from you. Ah, shit. Uh, crawls on you. 15 and nine. So, does a 16 get you? 
no, I will uh, hoot very masculinely and beat my morning star against my shield. So the morning star does not hit the 15 plus 722 gets you, I assume. Uh, 22, yes, hits me. So that's the battle axe, so that's half damage. On Brunette, uh, 14 and 13, so dirty 20 and 21. Uh, those would both hit. This is going to be painful. But I am going to use my reaction to invoke a cloud rune and make it attack, make it hit the other one. Uh, out of range. Darn. 15 feet away. You can make it hit the beast. It says, it says uh, can you use, <laughs> use a different creature than the attacker uh, within 30 feet of me? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll throw a morning star. Uh, half damage to crawl. Uh, nine plus uh, five again. Fourteen to so seven. I, th these days hate your guts. Uh, nine plus five was the slashing halved. Uh, seven. Uh, so brunette. The first one gets you uh, double sevens, 14 plus five, 19. Uh, it will throw the morning star, which would have hit its. Now, is that a reaction? That's a reaction. Okay. Uh, so it is going to heave right over Charles. Uh, 10 plus five, 15. Still alive. Uh, Crawls, a morning star comes flying over your head and hits the Etten square in the face. Round, or I'm sorry, not, not new round. Brunette, you are up. Yours is injured. You have Beast Man next to you, uh, who reappeared. Cyclops is shooting uh, psychic bolts from above, and Crawls is using his secondary weapon. I'm just going to assume that my masculine hooting and beating my my morning star caused that distraction leading to that. So I would do that fair. even louder and more masculinely testosterone <clears throat> beat my morning star against my shield. So Cyclops, Mutton Chops, Hootie and the Blowfish, and Beast Man. We've got quite the lineup tonight. We uh, do, folks. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Brunette. You are up. You are right next to the Etten, whom you have convinced to throw away one of its weapons, so it's going to have to use unarmed strike on its second attempt if it's still alive. All right, I'm going to say fucking magic shite and um, make oh, first attack misses. That's an 11. <laughs> that does miss. Uh, Must have banged off his natural I armor. Get, I get, but I get two attacks per action. So the second one is 24. That hits. And so that is a D. And I forgot last round, I also get a bonus D6 damage <laughs> on attack that hits because I'm giant. You guys do uh, know your characters, right? Because I sure as shit don't. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I, I am just reading <laughs> what the odd tells me. I, I, I'm fine. Just go ahead and add it onto this one. Yeah, luckily for you, my attack roll is shit anyway. Um, <laughs> my hit or my my damage roll. So that's nine plus one. So that's ten damage. Got it. I already know what Frank's thinking. Fucking fifth edition. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I do second level. Uh, Crawls, new round. Uh, you're still frothing at the mouth. You're still bustling biceps, uh, and you're still. Mono uh, Hill Giant that you yeah. know of. Uh, so since there are two of them, uh, and they're, I, did you say they're 25 feet apart? 15 feet apart? 15 feet apart. You are on the low deck, uh, and uh, Brunette and Edward are 15 feet behind you. Great. Uh, so can I pivot in position and have both of those Ettons in a straight line? You'll have to get behind your Etten because you are here and the other one is back there. Then, just... hypothetically, if I did a maneuver of five, uh, five feet, 
then I could make a 30 foot line between the two Ettons and use a breath attack. You certainly could. Uh -huh. You are, you are like, on unstable terrain, but I'm oh, all for it. That seems like something great to roll for. Uh, so I will just tumble forward uh, <laughs> oh, after oh. I've just beaten the, the genitalia of one giant, go through the legs. Uh, Speed bag it. What? Speed bagging it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a one two punch. So uh, 16 <laughs> on tumbling through genitalia. Yep. <laughs> You right. keep uh, out yourself going through the legs. <laughs> and then, uh, free action, then uh, I will release breath weapon. Uh, right. So I need both of these Ettons to make me a DC of 8 plus con plus plus con 4 plus proficiency 210 uh, 13. Oh, that sucks. 13. That's it. Uh, white and green is yours. The other one is theirs. Uh, and no bonuses, or do I get con? Uh, it's dex save, I think. It does. Dex. I'm assuming dex would make the most sense. Minus one. It's a dex. Uh, Eleven and seven. They will both fail. Hey. Oh, bitch. Now, see, if you would have had a World War One German helmet, you could have done additional <laughs> damage. <laughs> So, uh, fifteen points. Fifteen points of damage. Uh, yours uh, screams horribly, and its <laughs> joints appear as its skin uh, is eaten away rather quickly. It falls over in a heap, and it is the one with the bag. The bag now starts to slide down the wet incline because it is Dead. regularly shaped bag of heads oh which you didn't know but <laughs> i should have said a regularly shaped bag uh, but the bag that the yours was carrying is starting to slide uh i i will go through this round and at Wait. the end of the round give you a, a leap if you want Wait, but so did it die Oh, yeah, it's dead. And so. I will use my fighter um, battle commander action to command um, our uh, glorious dwarf fighter. Um, and she then gets a bonus hurt. She gets a reactionary a melee attack against that in front of her. Go ahead. So um, it's a transfer of action to you because you seem like you're in dire straits for a second. Good. No, that's the wrong one. She was in in excess. Go ahead, Bruno. Uh, go for the groin. It's the most effective part of the Etten. I can reach his ankles. Just jump. Get the ankles. Um, I Just think of them like speed bags. Uh, that's definitely going to hit because that's an 18 plus 8. So, yep. you know, 26. And... <laughs> Okay, you've been doing me dirty, D8. Yeah, I'll still use you. All right. Except that it fell on the ground. <laughs> the cat will find it. Yeah, the cat will find it. Let me try this. No, it's not. F okay, fuck you, other place to be. How's those dice working out? <laughs> Another reason uh, why uh, by, by, by which by which I mean that's a total of um like I think what uh yeah that's a total of eight damage because that's one on the d8 plus seven. Pew, pew, nice shooting text. Uh back to Shadow. It is your turn in this round. Go ahead. Uh you can tell that uh Crawls has effectively uh, destroyed one of his. Uh, eh, the dwarf, eh, eh, she's not measuring up. <laughs> um, first, I'm going to try to move over to where the, the bag is so I can help catch that when you give us the next round. The bag is going to be 30 feet down because okay. Crawls is 15 feet away from uh, Brunette and Edward, and they are 15 feet away from you. Would you like to move down or leap? Well, my feline agility gives me twice as much movement. So sure. I would have 60 feet to leap down. 
Give me an acrobatics check to stick the landing. Uh, 16. Uh, do you want to land on the bag? If so, go ahead and hit it. The AC 12 as it's sliding. Yeah, I'll try to land on it. Go ahead. Um, Dexterity is your modifier. Dex? Oh, <laughs> the 15. That's easy. Uh, the tabaxi spins in midair and lands on the bag. Sinking his claws into it, it is not going anywhere. Edward, Beast Man, uh, the dwarf is, I don't know, on Percocet or something because she already got an extra attack. So chop, okay. chop there, Buttercup. All right. Yeah. So Edward, still raging, still beast form, is going to uh, make an attack with his battle axe. Pervitin. That's what the Nazis use, not Percocet. Pervitin. <laughs> Natural 20. I watch a lot of History Channel. Okay. Damage, damage modifier. Okay. Uh, Boy, that, that sure would have been nice if you would have done that shit in the first round there, Kimo Sabi. That's his first <laughs> attack. So 14 points, slashing right. damage. Uh, then he's going to make a, a tail <laughs> attack with his barbed tail. Uh, <laughs> that 20 again. <laughs> Nice. Thank you, TNT Beyond. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Kaylee, are you paying attention? <laughs> 13 points piercing damage as he's going to try try to rupture one of the, <laughs> the scrums on that guy. <laughs> nice. Uh, that significantly hurt him. <laughs> but he's still alive. <laughs> Odd even. Five. Coming after you, dwarf. Six. So he's going to take one swing at you, and the Morning Star goes at the Barbarian. Uh, barbarian. I'm the dwarf. Which one? <laughs> yeah, which one? Edward. Okay. Uh, 21. Uh, Brunette. Uh, yep, go ahead, Tiff. 16 plus 7, 23, Edward. Uh, he gets to take a reaction, so whatever you roll. Uh, his AC will shoot up because he's blocking with his tail. So 23. 23. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me verify that again. There's the ones. Okay. Minimum damage. Seven. Uh, so what is 18 plus eight? I rolled an eight on 26. a D8. Yeah, so his armor shot up to 26 with the tail block. So. It misses. Seven damage, uh, Burnett, and it is your turn. Uh, <clears throat> it does not look well at all. For neither does Burnett, but... Um, one, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's 13, which I believe hits. That hits. Are you going to do more than five damage? Yes. He is dead. Fuck you, you arsehole. <laughs> uh, Shadow, you, ha you have your claws embedded in the bag. You have stopped it from its flight down. I got the Wait. weird lump bag, guys. Anybody want to look in it? What's in the bag? I open it up. Seven, seven Gwyneth Paltrow heads <laughs> are in the bag. And a bone with holes in it. A bow with holes in it? With holes. Bone. With oh, holes. okay. Not yet uh, long. Does it look like a musical instrument? Uh, I don't know. I will try Give playing me. it since I have a proficiency of mine. <coughs> like <laughs> bone like <laughs> musical instruments. Uh, it looks like a flute, then, since you have proficiency in magical, or yeah. I'm sorry, in musical instruments. Yeah. What you're saying is you're proficient in a bone flute. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> if, tell, uh, tell us more. Uh, Maybe uh, some guards uh, might want to talk to you, man. <laughs> uh, so I, I think that's... <laughs> I think that's I can't I can't tell if that's a ten or a twelve, but uh, I forgot that I'm still raging, so I'm frothing in the mouth and trying to play bone flute. <laughs> I will stop raging after this. 
you, you give it a big blow. Uh, and then he does. <laughs> right, but you are not a bard, correct? No, but it is the Outlander background. You, you have the uh, instruments for like, proficiency is one thing. This is the bone flute. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and allow it. Uh, you take a deep breath. Uh, you blow into the what appears to be a halfling femur and use a little magic fingers on it. Uh, and the familiar tune of charge echoes out. Uh, everybody feels good. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Hell yeah, I take requests. Uh, there's also 450 gold pieces worth of old coins oh, wow. in the bag. But the seven Gwyneth Paltrow heads uh, all look like adventures. Hmm. But there's only the seven. That, uh, they handle the gold during this uh, adventure. Wow. What? Your roles are poor and your choices are bad. <laughs> you don't give dwarves gold. <laughs> but the, are you going to kiss it before you give it to them? Because you ain't going to see that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be weighed down. I've got to froth in the mouth and charge at things. That's true. Uh, good news is you're about halfway down the mountain. Uh, and you can, you're getting closer to the river, the swollen river, uh, which there's a, there's some kind of cave down there. So you just got to find it. Uh, are you ready to continue on? Yeah. Right. Everyone. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, yeah. She's not. Uh, is definitely looking bloody. You think I could take a nap? In the rain? Yeah, sure, I don't care. I mean... I, mean, I don't know, is anyone else hurt? I, I mean, I've not. got some, I've got some owies, but I'm... Crawl <laughs> I, I don't care, if you want to do a short rest, that's fine. If you're going to... Yeah, yeah. I, I, want to I, would, I would like to take a short rest, please. Okay. Do it, then. Are you going to lash yourselves to the trees? Yeah, sure. Oh. That, that was kind of a hint. <laughs> yeah, yep, that sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to yeah. do that because that sounds like a great idea. Ed Edward's like beast claws are just like dug in, so he's he's good. So now, does that continue on? Or he's all it he's altered. Back? Yeah, it's a it's a it was just flavor. He's he, he'd always look like that. So let's just say the Edward personality was stronger that time. And that's what his appearance looked like. So uh, I will give you each of the short rest. So you may choose to use your hit dice as you see fit. Uh, Cause this is a one shot folks. We don't really need to play by rules. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and take as many hit dice as you want on this short rest. You are all going to be covered in mud, looking a whole lot like Schwarzenegger and Predator. Mm -hmm. and as I explained to these guys in green room, there are a lot of encounters on this one when it hits the uh, purchase ability, so I am adjusting on the fly. While they're resting, uh, Shadow's going to bat around one of the heads. He's batting the head. Yeah, he's a cat, so yeah, that'll work. And we'll deep... take a, we'll take some of that action too, and <laughs> starts backing it back and forth till. <laughs> Give me a D twenty, both of you. Oh boy, uh, I'm playing volleyball with seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, yes, you guys are in Top Gun. Uh, Goose and Maverick are playing yeah. volleyball. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody caught up? Yeah, I think so. A few hours pass. Your mood is uh, lessened. Uh, you've managed to defeat a pair of Etten. Uh, and this is what I absolutely love about doing high-level one-shots. So there's probably going to be two combat rounds in this. Uh, you are ready to descend further, I assume? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go, guys. Everybody give me your acrobatics check. Uh, Cross, do you want me to just start rolling damage dice now? Or <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21, sir. Nice. 
T five. Done. Um, I don't I'm know a, how you want to do this with Edward. He's got the climbing ability, so I mean, he, his climbing speed's equal to his. You're descending, not climbing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and and uh, you're gonna have to catch the dwarf because I think she choked her roll. Okay. Seven. Uh, how was that short rest working for you? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. 15. So. Uh, so only the dwarf uh, goes on the slip and slide ride. <laughs> 13 hit points of damage as you two decide to hit rocks and trees and stumps. Oh, I could have told you that wasn't a good idea, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear, you hear a, a, a like tide that trails off of the surface. Sucks. <laughs> it's like this sucks. <laughs> uh, the good news is you are at the bottom of the ravine. Better news, you did not fall into the river. Trick me. Uh, <laughs> this seems like a good time to ask. Uh, what was the 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 dice on the potion again? 2d8 plus 4. All right. No ones. No ones. Reroll ones. Unless you do it three times in a row, then you're stuck. Uh, as the rest of you catch up to the slip and slide queen, uh, you notice that the river is pretty swollen. Uh, and everybody roll perception checks. Including the dwarf. 15. The dwarf just Pause to chug a potion. Uh, 21. 15 is not good. I'll take 19. Out of combat, my rolls are back to fine. their normal amazingness. So that's a 21. Edward? Uh, 13, actually. Edward, Shadow. Uh, there's the cave right there, just like he said. Uh, <laughs> Crawl. Brunette. There's a cave on the other side. <laughs> there's two caves. <laughs> oh, there's two caves? Oh. Okay. One on this yeah. side. Well, I mean, what can you tell me with your dwarven skills? Can I can I do an investigation check to see which of them looks more entered? Like the tracks or Give me a roll of your choice, survival or nature. You'd probably be the best choices. I, I'd like to also make since hunting and tracking is my background. I would also just like to. Make I, I was hoping to use my city guard skills for investigation. I'm not very good at nature. It's a nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. 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 Eleven for me. Uh, Edward's going to take a gander at it, and, you know, senses and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but with that, uh, uh, let's see, 14, that was it. Uh, discern. You guys don't really notice a difference between the two caves, uh, mostly because it's pouring buckets. Uh, however, you do notice uh, there's an unusual burring on a tree somewhat close uh, to the river that is swollen. You recognize the burring as possibly at one time holding a chain or a rope dug into it, possibly a rope bridge or a chain bridge. Whatever it was, is gone now. Got washed away. Uh, does that split the party? I think that's a great idea since you haven't seen the BBG yet. <laughs> <laughs> I am fully, fully in favor of that idea. Uh, is the borrowed tree uh, centered on either one of those uh, entrances to the cave? No. Okay. Nope. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, we can flip a coin. <laughs> Odd left, even right. Yeah. yeah. It's even. Go to the right. Is, he, is even the close one or the one across the river? 
Oh, I thought oh, they were left and right. Across the river. Oh, I thought they were left and right. Oh, f- no, let's wow. just go in this one. I'm not crossing that. <laughs> yeah, screw that. That answers that question. <laughs> that was the confusion. It was just like, I thought they were right next to each other when you said left and right, but you meant left bank, right bank. Correct. <laughs> that is what I meant. I did not uh, say it eloquently enough. Uh, water cascades off an angled stone slab near the base of the mountain. The water has formed a small creek leading down to the swollen river below. There are signs in the mud of recent passing, although unless you get a nat 20, you aren't going to know what it is. Okay. Uh, I'll give 19 or 20 to Crawls since he's a trapper. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't played for uh, 10 for, for Beast Boy. Nope. So, do they appear on, like, I mean, going in the cave or out of the cave, or we just can't even discern that? There, there is a trickle of water coming from out of the cave, running down into the swollen river. Okay. So the cave itself is taking on water. Uh, the mud in front indicates passing, but it does not indicate footprints, hoof prints, dragon prints, anything of that nature. It just shows a disturbance. Okay. All right. Everybody roll perception. Seven. Eighteen. Sixteen. Fourteen. Uh, Shadow, Brunette, and Edward. Smoke? Coming from inside the cave? Okay, that's a good sign. That means someone's there. Okay. Nice. Uh, you will notice that this does not appear to be the abode of some great wizard, but who knows what this guy's like. Maybe he's Howard Hughes. Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it, uh, he, Edward's for investigating, so... Who wants to walk in first? Fair enough. Uh, you guys can go two by two. Uh, Brunette and Crawls, as you go in, uh, again, that trickle of water is coming from deeper within the cave complex. However, give me perception checks. I'm great at these. Actually, that was pretty good. 18. I, ooh, the worst I've done so far, 11. Uh, Brunette, you do not notice anything. Crawls, uh, the minute you start to go into the cave, there's still some ambient light uh, because, you know, even with the rain, there's ambient light. You notice a footprint from a humanoid? Human? Uh, I'm going to make a survival check to see if, like, if it's holding a lot of weight, like armor, if it's lightweight. You know, general implication, no. Insinuations I can get from it that would be 14. There's a little bit of blood drops uh, next to the mud because apparently one foot is in the trickle of water, one foot is out, and apparently whoever it is is bleeding red blood. Uh, I will point this out to my companion. Does he have Never. a head? <laughs> it, it, it's walking, so uh, you know, it could be a headless zombie. We'd call this a clue. This could be our eighth adventurer. Uh, you guys are going to need some torches or light unless you all have dark vision. Dark mm. vision. Dark vision. I have dark vision. Everybody yeah. has dark vision. Fair enough. Heck yeah, we've learned, Frank. I can't remember. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Dragonborn, I think, does. I think. I'm not going to swear on it. As you go about 30 feet in, uh, there's a rock face. Uh, water is just drizzling down it, and this is the source of the trickle of water leading into the river outside. Uh, you can go left around this or right around this. However, you also notice uh, a small cachet of gemstones has uh, shown up after the stone has been eroded from the significant water. Uh, so this 
wall, if you will, in front of you is studded with uh, jasper. The dwarf would certainly know that, uh, although not super expensive, it's, it's worth something. Uh, the smoke, uh, now that you all are aware of it, seems to be coming from either side of this wall. Well, if you want to harvest gemstones, I'll keep watch. But whatever uh, preceded us is bleeding, so I don't know if that's our quarry or not. I'll, uh, if they're going to do that, I'll, I'll sneak forward and see if I can see around the corner where the smoke's coming from. Sure. Uh, Brunette, are you going to go ahead and start harvesting? Yep, yep. You wouldn't be a dwarf if I didn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, tap, tap, tap. Give me a uh, survival roll. Let's make sure you don't collapse the wall. Oh, boy. On crawls. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it's some sort of dwarf thing that would make help me not. I would assume so. I assume so, yeah. Like some kind of stone um, craft or something. It's like stone yeah, I thought honey. Like some sort of dwarf. Uh, let's see that bow. It's without. I, I'm, I'm looking for a one, is what I'm looking for. Anything oh. else is irrelevant. Like yeah, it's real real, real, Frank. How do you, how do you feel? Because cool? that's a 16, sir. Oh, yeah. You, you, <laughs> you've got this. You, you were just harvesting left and right. Uh, it's like a. Steno on a typist. You're just going for the gusto. Shadow, you uh, do the peekaboo. Uh, did you want to do the peekaboo left or peekaboo right? Do peekaboo left. You peekaboo around left, and it opens up into a larger teardrop-shaped kind of cave uh, close to you, uh, but in an alcove in that wall is a small fire, ergo the illumination does not circle around, but it just goes into a cone that way. Uh, as you look around, you see a small figure wrapping up its leg uh, that has a real significant amount of blood. Uh, the head of this creature looks a lot like Gwyneth Paltrow. I believe you found the eighth member of the adventuring troop, or so you believe. Well, I, I will warn. I'll, I have to warn the dwarf. Oh wait, wait, you're seeing this, right, Shadow? Yeah, Shadow. Um, Shadow, uh, seeing it. Right. You're standing guard with uh, Brunette, and Edwards are with you. I will use my psychic whispers, which is now good for three hours. Okay. Uh, go ahead and set it on all of us and that that creature, and I will say, "We mean no harm. We are here to help." Mother. <laughs> Uh, toward the entrance of the cave. I, I will assume that uh, since you guys have been adventuring a while, they might be aware that this is you talking to them. Or does it actually sound like you? It sounds like me. They can hear. Okay. It's, so it's you haven't provided any other context than just that? Yeah, so he, he wants you guys to go to the entrance of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it even. Tell them like I was talking more to the other guy, but yes, you're right. I, 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 we I we hear something. Yeah, I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to advance towards Shadow's position. I, I'm sorry. Devil's advocate? Shadow. Shadow, devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, everybody needs to go to the front of the cave. They don't have to. Uh, they there, I'm, I'm, oh, okay. I'm going to advance in Shadow's position. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the individual <laughs> continues to work on her leg. Huh. Is, is that you, guy? Uh, I'm going to yell back and warn the dwarf that she's probably harvesting the Gwyneth Paltrow's um, yoni eggs and that it might upset <laughs> the beast. Is there a candle involved in this or is this just a campfire? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that, that was good. The one time I have a random one of the ultra joke and no one appreciates it. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it. You, got you, it. you need the push. Um, uh, Crawls, uh, hey, you guys, yelling back at you uh, while Shadow uses his Aquaman uh, introducing himself, uh, which comes as complete. Uh, 
strangeness to you guys because you already know who he is. Yeah, we're like uh, the individual in front of the fire now sees you, Shadow, and looks at you and um, I telepathically, you can talk to me using your mind as well. It's not one way. We are here to help. Come toward we're us. We're the government. We brought water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come here. I need help with my leg. I look at, and everyone would have heard this, so I look at Crawls and say, do you want to go? Both of us? I don't think I... Ian, can you hear? <laughs> yeah, we, we can all talk to each other telepathically right now. <clears throat> it's up to you guys. This mind to mind is shite. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and get your Jasper. Yeah. All right, I'll go approach her. Uh, give me a perception check. Perception. Um, that's a six, but I'm going to roll a D8 with that, which makes it nine. I doubt that's good. Uh, her hair uh, is covering most of her face, but you can tell she's probably half elven in appearance. She does have a leg wound. At, at some point in time, it was rather serious, but she seems to have staunched uh, the blood flow. Crawls, <laughs> uh, are you following him into this pear-shaped area? Yeah, I, I'm going to give um, this elven figure my just regular healing potion. Uh, I don't take drinks from strangers. It's because I'm a lizard, right? <laughs> I don't see scale. I didn't realize you were a racist. <laughs> elf. I was just <laughs> an elf. My healing potions are a commodity. You're bleeding. I saw your blood this entire way, and it you don't have to be racist. All right. Takes the healing potion. Oh, so now you take the healing potion. Quaffs it. A lot of it goes down her chin. Uh, she seems a bit off. Uh, crawls. Give me a perception check. So obviously she has a drinking problem. Four, uh, so. Eight. Fair enough. Uh, Dwarf, you have finished gathering the Jasper. What are you and Edward doing? Uh, I was watching her. <clears throat> I'm sorry, one more time. I'll just come over to where, um, where I saw the cat going. Edward, what are you doing? Uh, I'll follow. I was hanging back to protect. Okay. Uh, you guys enter the teardrop uh, cave? Or... Yeah. Okay. yeah. So all four of you are there. You get there just in time to watch a lot of the healing potion just dribble down, making brunette. Son of a bitch, I could use that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the female then looks at one shadow and her voice changes and it says welcome to my abode oh great well thanks for having us my name's shadow she then turns to look at the back of the teardrop cavern uh, good news, Brunette, on this side, it's just, it, it's like warts on the rock face. There's just Jasper everywhere. Be mindful of her uh, campfire, though. So to make this easier, everybody roll initiative, and we'll, we'll figure out who's doing what. <laughs> 23. Natural 20. Man, showing up again. Uh, so 19. Uh, 13. Okay, so Brunette, uh, the rock face is just studded with gemstones. There's a small campfire and a small alcove. Excuse me, alcove? What do you want to do? Well, I just heard the lady go all creepy and say, welcome to my abode. All of you heard it, it was verbal. It was not mind, it was verbal. I'll turn that off. She's gonna she's gonna look at the gems like you know that 
gleam in her eye that she's going to turn back and be like, are you possessed or something? Maybe she got punched in the throat and the healing potion fixed it. So this was her original voice. She had one of those deep, dusky voices. <clears throat> okay, you ask uh, 23, Shadow. Uh, I'll go look at the alcove. Where the fire is? Or, yeah, the, so tip, or the tip of the uh, teardrop where uh, she was looking? I'll go... Mm, I don't want to go toward the tip. I want to look that direction, though. Sure. From where I am. Rocks, small tunnel beyond. Hmm. Uh, 19 crawls. Um, I guess I'm going to hold action until she says anything further. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'll just say, like, this is a great abode. Um. Are, have you seen a wizard here who might be <clears throat> causing lots of rainstorms that maybe have been flooding your cavern here? No wizard, only death. <laughs> you say only zap? Only death? Death. death. Shadow, roll me a uh, intelligence saving throw, please. Good at those. Uh, 19. There's something in the tunnel. But you can't make it out. Edward, what you want to do? Uh, yeah, with uh, that, he is holding his, uh, his action ready to go. Uh, the little blonde half-elf <clears throat> goes to punch Edward. Good luck. Uh, 18? Uh, nope. <laughs> Swing and a miss. The tail uh, blocked. And it's like... Top of the order, Shadow. Well, I oh, will... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Matt 20, sorry. Yeah. Um, Bur Burnett, Burnett says, oh, fuck this again. And she's going to take her warhammer. She's going to try and aim for the arm. Um... Shadow's arm, crawl's arm. <laughs> um, that is, I think, 23. Oh, easily, yeah. You pop her, you, you knock her shoulder out. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to use it uh, two-handed, <clears throat> so that'll be a D10. Um, that's 10 plus 5, 15 damage. Spins her around. Uh, Shadow, you are uh, you have stepped away from the group. Okay, so I'm away from her. Yeah, you're kind of looking down the tunnel. I, I see what's going on in the corner of my eye. Attack her with psychic blades. Uh, Seventeen plus uh, seven, twenty-four. Sure. That hits. And since she's in melee, <clears throat> I get my sneak attack. Uh, six, ooh, seven, eight, nine, eleven, fifteen damage. She crumbles to the ground as she lands on the fire. She does not. Uh, slumps to the ground, motionless. Arm is askew from the warhammer attack uh, as her hair falls to one side. Uh, we are at nineteen. Uh, crawls. Give me a perception check. Muted. 18. Something's wrong with her eyes, and then nothing's wrong with her eyes. So I have failed like a lot of my perception checks, so I have no idea what the fuck's happening. So you just hit her upside the head with a warhammer? In the shoulder, and then shattered the psychic blades. But I, I was just wondering, Shadow, did you say anything psychically, or did you just do all that? What, with the attack? Yeah. It's all psychic. You don't see a blade or anything. No, I didn't, because we've got a mind null. I don't know if you were saying anything to, to oh. the rest of us. Actually, he dropped that. I dropped it right as we went in there. Right, so I, I'm just trying to say, like, Mike here has no idea what's, what's happening. You just go ham all of a sudden. I have no idea. Carl, uh, you can tell she's dead. Well, what the fuck, man? 
Jeez. Like I just gave her a healing potion. Everybody roll perception check. I tried to attack. 21. Yeah. Uh, 14. A uh, 5. That was a natural like, one. She just welcomed us in. Uh, 15. Shadow with his back to the tip of the teardrop. Uh, for some reason, doesn't hear it. Uh, brunette crawls. Edward. Is that a spell? <laughs> a lightning bolt appears directly into the back of Shadow uh, and goes right for the rest of you uh, oh, because it is five feet wide. Everybody make a save versus Dex for yeah. half. Look. 25? Oh, wait, wait. 25 will be half. 100 feet long and five feet wide. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 10. 10 doesn't do it. 23. Half. Okay. Brunette. Oh, no. <laughs> Full. Uh, don't worry, it's only 8d6. Oh, God. What the fuck? Wait. Uh, have I, with my, my two perception checks, been able to determine it's come from the weird lady? No, nope, it's coming from behind Shadow in the crevice. Uh, don't worry, I'm using murder hobo dice, so it'll probably... It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll just be fucking fine. <laughs> Actually, it is fine. For uh, who? For who? For, for, for you guys. Oh. Uh, 24 or 12 if uh, you're taking half. Okay. Uh, oh, he fills it. Uh, dwarf brunette, all those gemstones, yeah, they're everywhere. That wall has crumbled. The gemstones are now traveling down the little rivulets of water. Uh, as each of you kind of turn around and start to look, Edward is the first one up because he goes last in this round. There's a large serpent creature moving out of the darkness uh, from behind the shadow. Got big fangs. Big fangs and lightning just shot out out of its mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I call consternation to everybody. It's just like, okay. Big snake. Coming right at us. <laughs> uh, I'm sick of these motherfucking snakes and these motherfucking caves. <laughs> I'm going to rage. You know, at yeah. the start of the show, he's like, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Eh, the end of the show, yeah, fuck that. Uh, he gave me permission. <laughs> uh, 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 bomb, man. <laughs> Edward's bonus action, rage, as he calls out to everybody and gives warning. Rage yeah. against the machine, he does. And uh, the dying of the night. Start of round two, Nat 20. Hey, Dwarf, uh, you just got an electrical enema. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, I mean, the, the, the tips of Boomer's glorious side. I was going to say, electrolysis just happened. <laughs> yeah, no, sure. Her whiskers are singed. Yeah, you ought to see Shadow's back. He looks like a Nazi in Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, and by the way, thank you, Shadow, for turning around and addressing the other one. That was awesome. <laughs> and by the way, I have evasion, so I actually took no damage. Oh, oh yeah. shit. So, uh, rogue, rogue shit. That's a Z know? snap right there. So, so it came right between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dwarf, what do you want to do uh, with your uh, smoking mutton chops? Literally smoking. <laughs> okay. I might. Need your other healing portion after this. <laughs> and um, how far away is the snake from me? Uh, the snake is about 22 feet away from you. It's about five and a half feet away from Shadow. Shadow, you're going to notice that there's a slight alcove. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show behind you, kitty. And... Uh, as I close with the snake, and I'm just going to take my hammer, and I'm going to play some boop. 
Whack a whack a spirit naga. Okay, we whack can a, do that. Whack a spirit naga. Spirit naga. Jesus. I probably don't hit. I'm still buzzing because that is fifteen. Is your magic number? Okay, I don't make it. Swing and a miss. Fourteen. I got fourteen. All right, again. Uh, 23, uh, Shadow, uh, there's shit going on behind you, apparently. So, killing that innocent Gwyneth Paltrow, probably the wrong choice. Oh, well, I'll, uh, since I'm more than five feet away, you said I'm five and a half, I'm going to step back as far as I can. Psychic Blade, Nat 20. Nice. Um, I'm going to do my sneak attack since she's on her, so I didn't bring enough dice for that. Uh, I got tons of dice. 14, 19, 21, and I'm going to roll again. 23, 25, 36, 40 points of damage. Got it. And that's psychic damage, and I'm going to roll for my bonus attack psychic, which oh, is going to no. be uh, an 18. That just gets a little D4. Uh, so that's six points of damage. <clears throat> got it. Uh, that's my turn. Everyone says go to college, but really what you need to do is go to Rogue Guild because they'll train you on the job draining like this. Good God. Exactly. <laughs> or you got to be a guild, then you got to pay dues. Dues, and, yeah. Uh, worth it. Then there's your apprenticeship, and then you're a journeyman. Uh, uh, Carl, you're up. Uh, it's a big, big fucking snake. Uh, so how far away is it from me since it's like – I'm assuming it's at least 10 feet if it was originally in front of Shadow, right? It is. Uh, it so is. I'm going to go ahead and charge. Yeah, uh, it is coming out of this hidden alcove where its lair is. Well, I'm going to try to push it back in this alcove. Um, <laughs> so uh, raging um, and I'm actually using my plus two weapon that I got back. So that would be a 21. I'm assuming yep. 15 is all you need, yeah. Uh, second attack will be a, oh, at least 26. I even do the math on that. Uh, so that'll hit as well, but my first hit will hit for nine, uh, 14 and uh, that's 24 altogether. Damage? Correct. And uh, the Spirit Nog has moved 10 feet back um, I guess it has to, I think, technically make a save. Uh, DC is... 18? 14. Oh, yeah, that's more than... Yeah, it, it, I don't think it fails. I, I mean, I think it, it, it passes. I'll double-check that, so... Oh, that's 18 on the straight roll. If I get a bonus, because I got plus... Oh, no, no, I'm and... saying you, you made it. I'm just double-checking. Oh, okay. If you actually get a... It is... Oh, no, if I succeed, it's 10 feet back regardless. I, there's no save on that. That's so, right. 10 feet back in the hole. Cool. Uh, let's see who I get to screw with. Oh, boy. Dwarf, wisdom save. <laughs> oh. First of all, DM, I have some strong words, but none of them are wise to say right now. <laughs> let, let Carl say it. He's been, he's been dropping the F bomb. He's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. wait, one moment. Slight slight change. <laughs> that, that works. That's a natural one. <laughs> That's a uh, That's a natty one. You know what? You're fine. You're gonna be fine. Uh, last but not least, Edward, you're up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he is going to make a battle axe attack uh, for his first attack. So uh, now, now you're going to have to charge past Shadow and Crawl. Okay. I am. I'm, I'm using, hey, that. I'm really I'm using, I'm using <laughs> that pounce, you know. The... So, okay. So the first, I rolled 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
uh, and that is uh, 15 points slashing damage with the battle axe, and then he's going to do a tail attack. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, does a 12 hit the beast? It does not. Okay. Top of the order, Brunette, you're up. All right, Brunette uh, pivots on where she's standing, and she's just going to make a big swing, big two-handed swing with her battle axe at Shada. Swings for the fences. <laughs> so she's just going to be, you fucking cat! <laughs> She's uh, oh my god, she's oh man. Yep, yep, oh she's she's um she's so going shadow. murder hobo. Shadow. Oh dear, I misread that. I'm pretty sure that's gonna hit. <laughs> uh Shadow does a 25 hit. Barely. Just barely. <laughs> um, um Oh, sure, now I'm wrong. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry that's going to be... And, and, and this is not so hot, good. friendly fire. This is damage. That's 15 damage. All right. Um, uncanny dodge. Uncanny, uncanny dodge, dodge, I'll take half. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's only my first attack. <laughs> and for your second trick... Oops. For my second trick... Gonna reverse the swing, bring it back the other way. Try Go for the nuts. Go for the nuts. <laughs> I hear an obeyo, master. I'm going for the nuts, but uh, that one's only a 13. And that will miss. Sorry, that's a miss. Yep. Yeah, it's a miss. Uh, Shadow, you are being attacked on two fronts. Oh, boy. You're up. Um, yep, I will. I don't like my dwarf friend doing this, but um, I also don't like attacking people right in front of me. <laughs> right. um, this is because she's controlled, right? She failed her wisdom save. I presume that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Maybe she doesn't like the cat. Now keep yeah. in mind, you're going to have to turn your back on somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, oof. Um, I'm going to go for the snake, though. Okay, so, fair enough. And that is a nat 20. Is and I can't still within range if it's been pushed into the hole? Is it... With 60 feet? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Here are all these guys. He, he's reaching up in between yours and Edward's legs to try and... Look, two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 13, 17, 20. That's going to be 34 points of damage. Okay. And then bonus attack, same thing. That's a seven plus seven is a 14, so that's going to miss. Uh, Crawls, you have a bit of a conundrum here. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I don't know what's going on behind me. I just know what's going on in front of me. And so I'm still going to be attacking that snake and oblivious to the PvP that's happening. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, so... Uh, I will advance and make my two attack. If I move it back 10 feet, then technically it's set up for another charge. Uh, so my first attack is probably going to be a miss. It's going to be a 12. It misses. Uh, second attack is also a, a great miss. So I just follow it into the hole that I just pushed it into. Awesome. Uh, so you're sniffing ass to Edward. Uh... Delicious. <laughs> Uh, it is its turn. Mm. Ah, fuck it. I'm just going to bite. <laughs> uh, there's only three of you that I can. Six. Edward. Uh, let's see. 18 plus 725. Uh 18 plus 5 is... 23. Okay, 23 is what uh, Edward yeah. rolled on his armor. The fangs uh, dive deep within your flesh. Give me a constitution save. All right. All right. Uh, piercing is uh, 9 damage. Okay. Uh, 16 on the constitution save. 
you are going to be half of 7d8. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart, boys and girls. This isn't even a wizard. Yeah, you aren't going to find him. Where the hell's the other deal? Or, or did we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are so fucked. <laughs> I mean, I should be mind controlled right now. Yeah, you. Jesus. <laughs> I, I have to do math. <laughs> 44, uh, you take 44. 22 poison damage. Okay. Uh, and you're fine. Uh, okay. Last but not least, Edward, you're up. All right, Edward, uh, that really pissed him off. So, continuing to rage. <laughs> Can I rage even harder? Uh, so he's, uh, oh, man. <clears throat> So he is going to uh, make the battle axe attack again. Uh, let's see. 14 to hit? Nope. 15. Okay. Tail's going to take a swipe. Uh, uh, 16 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is going to be um, uh, 12 piercing damage. Oh, so close. Brunette, you have tabaxi blood all over your weapon. What would you like to do? Finish him. Finish him! <laughs> all, right, all right, I don't get a save and throw here. Um, all right. I told you to get out of my <laughs> Now, Now you saw your messages, right? Pardon? Yeah, no, no, there we go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that is an awesome reaction. Oops. Oops is never good. It's not I good know. when the surgeon says it. It's not good when your proctologist says it. Oops is never good. Uh, oops is never good. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry there, uh, Charles. Sorry is better. Uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm, I'm just gonna go. go. I'm, I'm gonna go attack the snake. Um, if there was ever a time to roll a one god, do it to her now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! I, I got it for max the max damage I can inflict. So, uh, uh, oh my god, that twenty to attack the snake. <laughs> nice, awesome. That would have been so good to just. Do them again. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, I, no, no. <laughs> uh, I assume you're going to do more than four hit points. Yes. Uh, the snake goes down. The blood finds its way into the trickle of water and begins to exit the cave. Uh, uh, Shadow, the buyer story. You want to? You want to give her a whack? Or? Man? <laughs> the what? Do you buy her apology? Um, I'll um, I'll walk up to her and I'll attack her with my tabaxi claws. Just there you slash go. across the That's face. Um, bitch, that bitch is bitch slap the dwarf. It's gonna be a twenty, a dirty twenty to hit. That oh. just hits. Um, it's a D four minus one, so uh, that's gonna be two points of damage. Oi! Oh, that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, it wasn't on accident. <laughs> well, it was. Call back what do you think. I You're keep up. telling you, it's magic shite. Yeah, I don't know. Shite, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. Can you hear us? Rock my whiskers. So, I mean, I've got extra potions. Um... If you guys are done fighting and you need to like patch these wounds, are um, we good here? I'm good here. You guys, you guys done stabbing each other? If she is, I am. I mean, I was trying to like kill the snake <laughs> thing, and you're trying to kill each other. It wasn't my idea. There was some weird dominate person kind of <laughs> thing going on. Nice yeah. wisdom throw. 
<laughs> All right, well, we, we need to find this wizard, and um, we're almost out of time here. Sure, it's like uh, you will not find the wizard tonight. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. You so. will, however, find uh, a figurine of wondrous power in the form of a lion. You will find a plus two long sword laid out across uh, the chest of a dead warrior in the alcove. Um, other than that, this appears to be an old tomb that was taken over by the spirit Naga. Uh, but yes, the uh, spoiler alert, the wizard is way on the other side. Uh, it's on the other side of the river. <laughs> on the other side of the river, yeah. So it, it was going to be a, a give or take. But I mean, uh, for the time allowed, you know, uh, the problem, yeah. again, with a two-hour time limit and high-level accounts are uh, two combat rounds. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but, uh, you know, you didn't die, no matter how hard you tried, Crawls and Brunette. Uh, David, what would you think? Uh, I liked it. I mean, uh, this would be great. I'd love to pick up an adventure like this again. So that was good. And, uh, yeah, I, I like Eddie. Eddie's pretty cool. Eddie's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. That that that's that's Mr. Rage's thing. So that's true. He's, he's a dick. <laughs> hey, it's it's nice to play Marvel superheroes on so Ian, what'd you Ian, what'd you think? You know, it was interesting not being squishy. Uh so the fact yeah. that no matter uh -huh. what, you have 24, 27 hit points to me, uh, I still have 70 plus to go. Um I was still waiting to really uh <clears throat> get injured which is famous last words since i died last time so just out of curiosity how many hit points total did you have 98 without... i rolled a couple of perfect 12s i was really surprised oh, you rolled your your hit dice mm. well i mean i i used a generator and it made me click roll d12 and then like for my fighter d10 each time so yeah it's like 12 12 12 12 7 5 Ooh. like nice nah. nice yeah oh, murder in Murder Hobo Land, the first two levels are max. So yeah, yeah oh shit, well, yeah. Okay. All right, so and, and, and then and then third level is at least half with con bonus. So yeah. well, yeah. I, I don't like to kill you guys. Now. I like to come time close. Not playing anything not level one, so. Mm. <laughs> uh, Kaylee, what'd you think? I I thought that my nineteen DC was going to be a lot more helpful than it was. <laughs> no. no, you're fighting. You're fighting the big boys when you're this level. Uh, you guys are lucky. She did roll an 18 on her second roll for wisdom. So. Yeah, no, I, I, she, I admit, I kind of always wanted to do that. No, that's <laughs> Andrew, nothing personal. None taken. Um. <laughs> and it was the roll of the guy that selected you. I uh, messaged her, kill Shadow. She's like. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> she failed. So, eh, well, she only got one round in. Like, I was really disappointed. So, especially when it came up the door, if I'm like, oh, yeah, she's going to suck this roll. <laughs> uh, Andrew, what would you think? A lot of fun. I mentioned the last time I was with you that I'm tired of the level ones. And when I saw this was high level, I had to jump yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fun. The high level ones are fun. Yeah. Uh, but they're fun, but you can't do a whole lot with them because the rotation of stuff. Uh, I mean, the two Eden, uh in the writing of it, I put four in there. Oh, wow. oh shit. Uh, <laughs> so that, that would have absorbed well over the hours. So. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, this, this is definitely not a good murder hobo uh, scenario for two hours. Uh, it's definitely fun for a good six hour session uh, yeah. with high levels or a couple of sessions. Uh, but it was fun, uh, and it's been raining here all week long, so I thought, screw it, we'll nice. play, uh, we'll play pre precipitation problem. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the one shot edition. We hope you had as much fun as uh, Kaylee did trying to kill her cohort, uh, <laughs> her, 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 her party members. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap like this shirt or my phone case or duvet cover, etc. cetera, uh, check out our uh, website or our shop website. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for kicking some ass.
even though I didn't get to kill anybody, eh, that's never really my issue. Uh, it's good to watch them squirm on their own shit rolls. Uh, this game didn't stink, but if it did, we would have had to pull out the adventure sense from oddfishgames.com because it makes everything smell better, even the rotting uh, bones of crawl vag. Uh, and I, I heard well, that next week, Etten testicles being released. Is that correct? Etten testicles? Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's an urban adventure where you have to go ask for them. It's a lot like Rocky oh, Mountain is better than one. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go back to playing your bone? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who else? Uh, Mattis Productions. Uh, they are one of our sponsors for MurderHoboCon.com. August the 1st, uh, 12 or so hours of fun. Five bucks to get in. It goes to charity. A uh, shitload of games. Ian's running like three of them. Yeah, uh, the one is sold out. I've got one ticket left in a Mark Borg, and I have four left in the Troika. So uh, seats are selling fast, so you should get you and your crew in. Exactly. I uh, couldn't have said it any better myself. And because of that, that's it, folks. Let's go ahead and give the dating game kiss and the wave. And let's get out of here. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Have a great night. Hey, everyone. Margu tomorrow. <laughs>